Well, Memorial Day weekend travel was officially one for the books as a record number of Americans took to the skies, but it was not smooth sailing for everyone. Several issues at airports and on flights all around the country, including this United flight. It was set to take off from Chicago, but had to abort that takeoff when the plane's engine caught fire. And then just last night, a Southwest flight out of Denver needing to be diverted to Colorado Springs after the smell of smoke was detected in the cabin. News Nation's Evan Lambert is live. And Evan, a little bit of chaos over the busy holiday travel weekend. Nicole, there was multiple passengers and airlines are reporting several incidents over that busy holiday travel weekend. You mentioned the one off the top, that United flight that was getting ready for takeoff at Chicago's O'Hare Airport when an engine caught fire. People looked outside and they saw smoke coming from the wing. One passenger taking video on his phone of this incident. He says that he could feel the pressure on the window as well. Once he looked outside, he saw the engine on fire. The plane had to be towed back to the gate so passengers could deplane. No injuries were reported, according to United. A Spirit Airlines flight from Jamaica to Florida was also forced to return after a suspected mechanical issue. The airline says out of an abundance of caution, Passengers were, to were told to put on life vests and prepare for a water landing. And a Southwest flight from Colorado to Florida was diverted due to the crew reporting smoke in the cabin. These incidents coming as the number of people who flew for Memorial Day weekend hit record highs. The Transportation Safety Administration reported 2.9 million travelers. That was just on Friday alone. That was also a single day record. While some passengers experienced delays and other issues, data from FlightAware tracked fewer than 100 flights canceled this Memorial Day weekend. And as the FAA continues to investigate some of the incidents from over the weekend, it is important to remember that those with expertise in aviation say that flying is still one of the safest ways to travel here in the U.S. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.